Eric, what vehicle do we have here on the dyno? Well, it looks like here we got a 2014 Chevy SS, bone stock, in for an LSA and headers. <laughs> that Matt, what would your guess be today? <laughs> I'm gonna go with a 390. I was gonna go 370. Yeah, that's probably good. I'm running a little high here. All right, we'll go with 380. All right. Well, Kyle, uh, how you doing over here, bud? You got your exhaust on this thing pretty much all wrapped up? Yep. From the angle I was looking at that blower at, all I could see was like the shiny inside lip. I thought it was ported for a second. Nah, he's not lucky enough. There we go. That's the pocket right there, buddy. I don't know if I have to change the crossover or not like I did the last one. It's a little boost this trick, guys. But, uh, the LSA cost the coolant steam vent things. Because the LSA is just come there, eats their own thing, and come up over here, mm -hmm. and just a line connects to go to here, whereas this goes, this hose, it goes in to the uh, bog that they go over. Watch it on. Um, it hits the bottom of the snow. What are these wires that you're extending? Well, both kits have done this. <clears throat> they only give you extension harnesses and like a breakout harness for your throttle body, your map, and your math. Mm -hmm. But they never come to realize that your fucking e app solenoid needs it too because the connector's all the way fucking down here. And they're like, oh, you don't need anything else. Eh, well, you kind of do. Well, they, they word it, the only ones you need your engine to run. Hmm, so yeah. they tell you to block that off. But if you want to, you either have to run a hose, do this, and like, well, you know, shit. So yeah, this, um, with the boost district, this thing is they even provided. They provided this one. I think if you got the boost sister kit and this kit, you can make one pretty solid kit. <laughs> you buy both <laughs> kits and put them together. What'd you say? See yeah, how well my measuring skills were. Yeah. Looking good? I think we're fucking golden, buddy. Oh my god, look at that. Measure three times, drill once. Get a wire on that, I'm not even gonna put the pump on, do all that nonsense. The other SS had it. They give you a nice little bracket for it. I could what? put it on the frame rail down there. Maybe. So they give you, they give you like a, one of those. Like clamps, you can bolt something for the intercooler pump. Mm. Or, or your car. what did you say? Who is that? Yeah. Sarah, ah. I didn't get you on this. Fuck you. <laughs> we got going on here. Little John. Oh, hi, Chicken Little. What do you have? <laughs> do you have a donut that matches your shirt? Yeah. yeah? Lucky you. This. Look at that, though. My mom. My baby. <laughs> yeah. Little taco talk? Go see Dada. You wanna go see Dada? Okay, we gotta give this to Matt. You wanna hand this to him? 
No. No. Screw him. <laughs> oh, I did get you one. Oh, thank you. Aren't they nice? Do you like them? Have you ever had oh, them? Never had one. So I'll find out. Come on, let's go. You have to do this. Thank you, though. You're welcome. Isn't that good? This is coming up my ass in about five seconds. Yeah. Nice spot. Compared to the Red SS. Does this thing come with a little uh, external tank? No. Because obviously the booster for kit comes with a little, little tank. How do you install this thing so you can fill it? There's your reservoir. Mm -hmm. What are you soldering up here? What am I soldering up? Yep. The switch ignition power for the pump. Oh, okay. We just do it off the coil because it comes on and the key turns on. But uh, what fuel system is this good? Power. She just split fuel system. Nice. So, seeing as we're waiting on the intake situation, when this gets cracking on that. It's Kyle, you've made the decision here. You're, that's where oh, you're, yeah, yeah. you're going with? Yeah. Fuel regulator? Yep. Kyle, how are you looking here? Got so it. Figure out when I put the line through. Crimped my first jaw. Nice. How'd it turn out? It's pretty easy. Yeah, that crimper's fucking cool. The effort was like that. Let's see how I'll come through here. Kind of plan out where all you're going. Yeah. First line, officially made. Nice. What's this? What's this line here doing that you're putting on? Uh, right one side of the regulator to the fuel rail. Got it. They put it up like that. I think they're going to have to run it through this portion of frame, come out of here, and run it up into the bottom of uh, the John right here. Yeah. I mean, because I can't kind of put this so I know how long the lines are going to be, so I do this first, and then I can do the rest of my lines with the regulator, mm -hmm. so I know how long they'll be. And then after, I guess I get that portion done, then I guess the last thing I'll do is control the gas tank. Or tap the gas tank, so. Go get my uh, consultant down there. My angry Eric. The guiding angel on this uh, on this fuel system. Yeah, just you know the master tech. All right, you're coming along uh, pretty good on this. Yep, as you can see, mounting the uh, pump itself. Got the tank draining. Uh, I got tap here. Fucking Not tap here. Uh, not tap. Just got the hole for the. Uh, the drain. Eric drilled the hole in it. Tell me where to drill it. Oh, it is tapped and the fitting is in. Both fittings are in. Huh? Both fittings are in. Okay. Oh, the little one up top. Or, or turn up top. Yep. Then you can bring that out up through here and then you're gonna run it down through this plastic cover. We'll cut drill holes through this plastic cover for the return and all that stuff right in the back of your pump. Oh. <laughs> That's Jesus fun. Christ. Hey. Yeah, you were doing your job, Garrett, I know. It's fucking unbelievable. So good. Matt, how'd you turn out? Fine. I didn't like that uh, that math housing we got, but whatever. It's welded. There we go, Garrett. That'll work. 90 off the bottom. You won't see it because my weld's going to be ugly, I'm sure. Hey, you got to have more confidence in uh, You know what? I mean, I'm trying. Nobody can ever say I'm not putting the effort in, that's for sure. Effort. <laughs> <laughs>
Looks like he was, in fact, able to say it. Yeah, leave it there. <laughs> you know, no <laughs> Can't expect anything less from him, so. Look at that brand new ZL1 lid. Brand new. Brand new. Yep. Brand new from General Motors. The, uh, what do you think this thing's gonna make, Garrett? The first you made it the first dude, that thing would work fine. Um, Then you fucking get hmm. rid of the switch. I forgot there was Didn't a get a cam, right? right? Eric's like, you need to get rid of that switch. Thinking five five sixty five. Yeah, I'm right in the neighborhood with you. That's what that's where I'm going. I think it may I, th I think it make like five seventy or something. I forget what a baseline. But um, he doesn't have cats either. Yeah, how uh, how it turn out there? I'm pretty happy with the beard. Just started whipping it. You know, not like I did it quick, but. Tried to do it quick. The bung on the bottom looks nice. I think the black's nice. Sprinkle the blacks make everything nice over here. Uh, currently wiring the, um, uh, Some days are better than others. basically the wiring for the fuel system. Oh. The only thing I have left yeah. is, uh, what the one more wire, and that's all wired up. <coughs> all your lines are all good to go. If you want. Yep. Fill it up with gas and put the catch can on it. Got that nice little fill tank on there. Yep. Way better than way better than the little thing that was on there. This is what was on there. Uh -huh. Swapped her out. It's Kyle now. He's done both there. Uh, our boost district kit and this West Michigan Motorsports kit. You know, which one did you like more? I'll tell you, which one was less of a pain in the ass to install was the boost district one. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible to be worse, but I wouldn't advise someone getting this kit. It was very proficient at doing stuff by themselves. What about it didn't you like? Well, for the Let's start with the intake. I mean, yeah, the intake. The definitely. intake situation is, um, they, you can buy an elbow. Well, it can come with a 90 degree elbow. That's it's supposed to be used slash modified if you already had a rotofab. If you don't have a rotofab, uh, good luck, and and or buy a rotofab. <laughs> so, uh, took it upon ourselves to make our own. So Matt, went did a nice job. Utilize that elbow. Made a new uh, intake for it. It's up to par. Changed to an L7 math, obviously, because the math style is different. Um, but um, other than that, it was. You know, the heat exchanger. You weren't too happy about. Yeah, don't don't use a deal with heat exchanger. If you're gonna go through the trouble of putting a blower on a car that didn't have a blower on it, just get an upgraded heat exchanger. <laughs> I, mean, I understand it's stock pulley and all that, and it's not like it's have a cam or anything but if you're installing it yourself I would definitely go with a different heat exchanger just for ease of install other than that um, it's the same as boost district yeah yeah um, a little I'm, tank. I'm trying to think what the difference is yeah, you didn't have a tank so we'll, we yeah. have one of these laying around you already showed the the, the thing that came with yeah, the, yeah. The, the fill elbow as it's stated this one has directions so that's plus yeah the, i know the directions on um, this one were significantly doesn't come with better. a pin kit i think uh boost district came with a pin kit for the crank you can buy it from here but they don't just include it which is asinine <laughs> um so yeah uh this one didn't come with a pin kit you gotta watch out for that um I think what else. It does have a regular ZL1 uh, fuel rail. Fuel rail instead of the. But uh, if you if you if you want to utilize your stock, um, you know, fuel connection, you'd want to get a ZR1 rail. Isn't that what you have? Yeah, that's what the boost the side. Came one came with. Um, but this has got a fuel system, so it doesn't didn't really matter. It actually, made it easier. I'm trying to think what else. Um, Came with all the tensioners and brackets and pulleys. Boost District did not. To give you everything to wire the coolant pump, new balancer. Yeah, well, the EVAP. 
Oh, the sensor. They gave you a new sensor. You have your stitch. Didn't get you. Didn't give you a EVEP sensor. Um, they neither of them still give you an extension harness, which you need. So you have to extend that. To extend that. Um, other than that, Boost Boost District has you. I think suggests you buy those coil relocation brackets. Um, for the coils to, s to throw them different to, because uh, the LSA valve covers are specifically made to keep the coils away from the uh, mm -hmm. injectors. It's not all bunched up. So I think Boost District, you can buy like these brackets that move that move them further away. You can buy LSA uh, valve covers, but they had you just drill new holes to move it down. So I learned that they're pretty much the same. Um, nothing too crazy. I'm trying to think what came with what. I would still prefer the boost that you're going. Yeah. Just because I know what I need this time around. Well, let's see where you found the catch can. There you got it. Uh, a steeper catch can. Looks like your level. Looks like your tool is fine. <laughs> Midgets. Yeah, you're really looking like Cartman. Nice. I gotta, I that right now. Yeah, gotta, we gotta bring that back up. Alright, well, that's the last piece of puzzle. I guess we'll start working on the cages. Yeah, it's ripping. Let's go. Nice. What all you got here for cages? Uh, a boost gauge. And he wants a trans temp gauge. This will be interesting how I'm gonna do this. What's that look up to? We'll try and see if it already threads, if it threads into where the drain blood goes. Because that'll be the easiest way to get trans temp. Okay. The problem is, it's on the bottom of the pan. I want to find... There's like an external temp gauge that they use. See if something I can do. The gauge itself is pretty sick, but yeah, the actual gauge. I like how the pod is, how the pods are sit down like that. There's the first phone It says no drilling. Just clips right in. Probably a little 3D print. I do got to clip it. Yeah. Kyle, what do you got going on with this gauge pod? What do I got going on with it? Yeah, what's going on with it? I know it was sitting. It wasn't sitting. How you would have liked it to in the uh, Well, I mean, it, it's the way it's advertised in the box is you know, you just throw it in there, you don't need to do nothing, it just clips right in. Well, it doesn't clip right in because it doesn't clip into shit. So, they conveniently give you these two holes that I'm assuming are to secure it so it doesn't go like this. Yeah. Because when you're driving, it's going to be doing this. And it's going to be very annoying trying to read a gauge when it's vibrating <laughs> by your shifter. So, I'm going to secure it. The other issue is I don't want to put a hole anywhere in the uh, interior space, but I'm going to figure out where to, to get a boost line and two wires in. Because, yeah, it slips in right like here. I think I found my new best friend. But it's. Which. That's not good. Need yeah, not good. I don't like that. No one would like that. So if you secure it down here, it won't move around. I think it's going to be an awfully bad night with the cold beer. But it, uh... Does it not fit with the little rubber rubber thing? Say so you're it? supposed to take it out, but we can try. Yeah. I'm, I'm down to try anything. If it here. says you're supposed to take it out, I would assume you it's know what, probably... Eric, the instructions I'm receiving on parts from this car have been less than perfect, so... <laughs> Oh, maybe they're on. Maybe you're onto something that they're not. That looks pretty solid. I just want to hear. Like if you hit a bump, it just goes gay. Yeah, it still still has too much play. I don't. I mean, it's definitely sits in there snug now, but. See, that sits flush. It doesn't yeah, that sit. It looks like it makes more sense. Oh, there we go. Huh? Why, why is it like solid now? 
What was it not clipped all the way in did on it, the bottom before? Did it not? Is there like a little notch that I ain't moving and getting to or something? <laughs> I don't like how it's not like secure. It pops out very easily. Yeah, secure. I might just have to put s some small black screws in that thing just to. Because if you ever take some you can just put this on, you're not going to see those screw holes anyway. Yeah, true. But the other thing is, I got to run, you know, wires and a boost line. But, you know, half tempted to take this out and just run them through there. But I don't know how well that would work. Because that's a hard. It definitely won't work with the boost line. I don't know if I said earlier, I probably did that the gauge he got super old school, so the lighting in it has to be wired manually. So there's a bulb that screws in that you power in the ground. Oh, okay. But um, so obviously you want it, you know, like key on. So yeah. when all the everything turns on in the interior, there's the other gauge, your boost gauge turns on. But um. The interior fuse panel doesn't have any empty fuses. There's only one, mm -hmm. but it's it's already powered when the ignition is off. And everything else, there's since there's really no interior lighting on SS other than like a few small blue things, but that's all controlled through the BCM is what turns a signal on and off. So you can't it's not its own thing. Mm -hmm. So. I found a circuit in the fuse panel in the engine compartment. It's an empty fuse location, but it's key on power. So I'm wiring the light key on power to the fuse box in the engine compartment. Gotcha. So that's where I just ran the power wire and make sure it's long enough. So now I gotta, I'll just ground it in here, but um, pull the boost line through, uh, get that wire, we'll get that cleaned up, and then install the gauge. Is that your pink wire? Yeah. yeah that's going to be the power wire. And then I'm just going to grab a big bolt on the side of there and I'm going to... Yeah. Oh, light helps or not. Yeah. Obviously I'll clean that up. And so yeah. What that's a mess. <laughs> yeah. Wiring is not fun. No. Well, you know, gauges usually have their own separate wiring. You do is hook up. Like, it's not this, like, complicated. And it just turns on. It knows when to turn on and stuff. Just hook up the power to it, and it's good. Gotcha. So put the heat condom on the whole wire. Where are you planning on? I'm going to route it where I routed the boost line. Oh, okay. Hidden behind one of the uh, foam insulation pads in the car. Now. Gotcha. All right, 2014 Chevy SS. Um, we did an LSA blower kit, two inch headers, our fuel system, Motion Raceworks catch can, and a tune. And this thing is on the 91 octane, because that's all he's got, all he has by him. It came from ME. Is ME Maine? God, I used to know. I mean, it has to be. I used to know all of them for the mortgage thing, because that was how they were displayed to us. Yeah, I mean, it has to be Maine. I don't know what else it would be. M.O. used to always fuck me up. Missouri. I always, I always thought M.O. was Montana. Was the first no, Montana's M.N., I think. I thought it's M.C. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Whatever, M.E., I believe, is Maine. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. I don't know how close the style will be, because I think I just based it off Garrett's car, which is similar. So, let's see. This will make 550? Yeah. I have no idea. Still rich. I don't even think this thing will make 550. No cam and on eight pounds. What did it baseline? In reality, eight pounds will probably pick up 125 horsepower. 378. It might make 550. It'll probably be right around there. Nah, maybe not. Nah, it won't. 
It'll probably pick up 150 horsepower. No. And it's on 91. It'll probably only pick up 150 horsepower is my guess total. So what's that put it at 525-ish? It's probably what it'll make. Made 525 right there. It might make 550. <laughs> <laughs> 556. 535 torque. 8.2 pounds. prime the fuel system and shit because it's got 39 pounds of fuel pressure so you didn't set the regulator or anything like that oh, yeah. is there a boost hooked up to this regulator yeah is the boost hooked up to the regulator no, it's reading on the dyno, it's just not increasing fuel pressure. Is this like an eight PSI hob switch or something? No. It had 52 pounds of fuel pressure. I was getting cracked in my air gun, it was fucking turning the pump on. Switching a little bit of seat. Yeah, I don't know. It had 52 instead of 68 or whatever it should have. I mean, at least more than without the pump on. Yes, yeah, I have high flow set to 58, but it's still, it still went down to 52. So that's why I'm thinking it's pumps not coming on or something is not working during the pull. And I can't hear it when I'm making a pull. Drops 50, 54 pounds of fuel pressure. Like it looks like it, uh, it doesn't even really change. Like it's got 63 there, but oh, let me just say, like it increases, like it does go up some, but, but then it like, but then it drops again. Like it drops 10 pounds from where it fucking was. How is this? How does it ran? Is it ran like how we should run all of them? Yeah. Like to the rails and shit like that? Mm -hmm. It's making around the exact same power. That's why I'm not really saying anything. It made... 546, then 548. Um, I'm just playing with some other stuff uh, now. Okay, probably one more pull or so, and then we're almost ready to do trans. We're gonna lean this thing out a little bit. It's a little fat up top. I don't know where we left off yesterday. My GoPro died, so I just stopped. Plus it was like 4.45 or something anyway. I think when I'm just on final pull, I need to do one or two more pulls, which now it's the next day, so it's cold. Uh, and then I'll do some trans. fully warmed up yet but either way the air feels good. Mm -hmm. Wide band either blew out or 
it's wet or something, but made 552, 531, so right where we were yesterday. Um, you have to remember, this is on 91 octane too. So the same fuel that was in the tank is what we're tuning it on. So I don't have much timing in it. I could probably put more in it, um, but yesterday I had the same timing in it once the engine was warmer, like after I made a bunch of pulls on it, uh, I got a little bit of knock. So generally I just leave it when it does that. That way if he's out ripping on it on the street, beating on it, it's perfectly fine regardless. It's good. I'm gonna make one more and then we'll do some trans. thing 552 uh 532 but yeah wide band must be wet or something because obviously it read completely different there so but um i'm gonna check a three four shift yeah i'll just do a three four because i don't think it'll hook in second i don't remember if i set up auto up shift on this either let me uh check no i will after i do this pull set up the auto upshift and then I'll test that and we'll be back. All right, just do all three, four auto upshift and we'll see what we got. No? That's my fault. Forgot to change one thing. <laughs> Let's try this again. Three, four. Auto up shift. And I'm kind of like rolling into it. Just because it's like will spin if I just stab it. Yeah, that's better. This thing's done. I don't go full throttle until 5200 RPM. It's like trying to spin before that. This thing's got like a normal street tire on it, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, this thing's done. It is a Mickey Thompson street tire. A Mickey Thompson street tire? Okay, I'm not sure why that would be on here, but... Um, what did this thing baseline, 380? Um, so it picked up 180. I think 378. Yeah. So 378 to 357, I don't feel like mathing, it's around 180. Pretty, Pretty good on eight. 0.4 pounds should be definitely a fun change on 91 octane. That's badass. I mean, no cam, just headers and a blower. Single be fun, man. I don't know if it's going back to Maine or back to Texas. It's got a Texas plate on it, but the address that is on his invoice is from Maine. So I don't know if he's in the military or something like that. Whatever, wherever it's going, he'll enjoy it. Later.